Oh yeah, here we are again. Now, here are the instructions that we're going to be working with. Man, that was a weird audio start up here. All right, so for number one, we're going to actually use the instructions from the handout here. <clears throat> There's an underlined word in exercise A. Go ahead and tell me if it's the D-O or the I-O. In a couple, there are underlined words. Those will be compound, whatever they are, okay? So go ahead and do them on your sheet, freeze them, and I'll give you the answers. Freeze. All right, for number one, the committee chairperson gave her the gavel. That is an indirect object. Gavel is the direct object of what was given. Who was given to the gavel? Her. Number two, passes is a get out of there is a direct object and who would those passes be going to they'd be going to manuelo my bro manuelo number three emily is an indirect object why because what's being given you got it i heard you all way up here in fort city i heard you a chance chance is the direct object who's the chance being given to oh emily Emily's one of those timeless names. It's always on the tops of the charts for, you know, new baby names of every year. And it's like uh, the Shakespeare play of names. It'll still be a great name in a few hundred years. Don't ask me why. The algebra teacher lent her a new ruler. Her here is an indirect object. Why? What did the algebra, algebra teacher lend the ruler? Direct object. Who? Stop it. Who did he lend the ruler to? Her. Number five, opportunity, direct object. Why? Aerobic dancing provided. What? Opportunity. Who did it provide that opportunity to? Opportunity to us. So us would be the indirect object. Oh, man. The track star jumped what? Relays and hurdles. Those are direct objects because it's what being jumped. Now, remember, for it to be an indirect object, there would have to be something right between jumped and hurdles. And it just ain't there. So no indirect object in six. Seven, the pet store gave the puppy a bone. What a sweet guy, particularly after he's kept him in that little box for who knows how many months in his own feces and other things. Nice pet store owner. <laughs> All right. I'm not like pro pet or anything. Just sort of jumped to mine. I've got five kids. I don't need a pet. The owner is the subject. What was given? The bone, which means that puppy is an indirect object. The bone goes to the puppy, direct to indirect. The doctor prescribed penicillin for the child's illness. What did the doctor prescribe? He did not prescribe both of those. Just penicillin, direct object. Number nine, counselor offered some advice. So that is a direct object. Who did he offer that advice to or for? Students, indirect object. And finally, their discovery of radium and polonium earned Pierre and Marie Curie the Nobel Prize. S discovery is a subject. Earned is the verb. What was earned? The Nobel Prize. That's a direct object. Who was it earned to or for? Pierre and Marie. So they are indirect objects. All right, go ahead and do these five. Pause it. All right, here are the answers. Number 11. Now we got to find it all, all right? What did Kareem teach? Well, he taught a song, direct object. Who did he teach that song to? His sister, indirect object. I'm on fire. The president signed what? A bill, direct object. Did he sign that bill to or for anybody? No. Remember, between signed, the verb, and bill, the direct object, is where the indirect object would live. And these are both adjectives modifying bill, so there's no indirect object. Number 13, the Lions Club awarded what? A tray, direct object. Did they award that tray to or for anyone? Mrs. Rosa, indirect object. 14, the tree branch struck the car's what? Windshield, direct object. Did it strike that windshield to or for? No, strike is one of those verbs that usually doesn't have an indirect object. Windshield, direct object. Finally, Toni Morrison read what? An excerpt, direct object. Who did she read that direct object? God, I'm going crazy. It's because I made all these videos in one night. Who did she read that excerpt to or for? The audience. Indirect object. Yes. We are done. Next, predicate nominative, predicate adjective. I know you cannot wait. Go to a new lecture.